Okay, I've reached the highest point. The highest point in Epping Forest. As you can see, it goes down and literally, this literally curves right away. Steep. I don't know how long I've been walking for. That was some walk. Anyway, boy here is the whisk of the trees, the wind. I could go back that way anyway. That's another way back. Well, I hope another way back because I cut off somewhere. I'm gonna find out what me. If this locks uploaded, you know I've gone way back. Anyway, look how scary that is. Going in there. Why? We are literally, and this one I'll tell you, we're in the haunted part now. That when you hear strange sounds, wait, what's that? What the hell is that? What is that? I spotted something in the bushes. Right, literally, I'm going to point on my umbrella. Right there, if you look right there, something. Mysterious. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the hell that is. This is the part where it's literally no exception. There's nothing around me. Look, nothing. Literally, all forest, which is the path. Um, it's easy to get lost in the forest. I'm not going to lie. It's got miles and miles and miles and miles. But if you're going a straight line, you keep going straight line somewhere, you'll get somewhere. If you keep to the path, you know, it'll end up somewhere nice. But yeah, this is uh, the scariest part of the woods. Have your wits about you, right? It feels like the town is just behind me, but it's not. It's miles away. I thought I'll get to this point and do a video. So, if you see anything, hear anything, let me know. Do you know, this is really eerie. This path goes on for miles and miles. Oh look, randomly, just there, there's a bit of flint. This is flint. Oh my gosh, it's actually flint, actual flint, actual flint. No way. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Let's adventure in there for a little bit. Gotta be really careful. It's really damp in here. It's nice to be one with the forest. It's a haunted area. Did you hear that? Hear that? Hear that? You heard that, right? That way. Can I imagine a picnic in here? I've got to be aware of uh, wild boars as well. Do you know what? It is so peaceful here. It's so relaxing. Away from the, away from the towns and the cities. It just feels nice to be here. And I can actually freaking breathe. You know my lungs feel like they've expanded. Right, we're gonna get to the end here and check it out. I might do this route next time, continue it even deeper. Just stick in the comments if you want me to do that. I was going to do it today because it's a bit late. <laughs> Spooky. And I don't know where it ends. I don't know where it finishes. But I'm sure one of my friends will be uh, challenged up for that. To see where they finish up. Just to see where they end. It's easy to get withdrawn and walk off a path, look. Easy. I'm going to end it at the I keep saying the end in it. I'm keep moving further and forward. This car, 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 this path actually curves. Do you know what? I've never been down here. This is the part of the forest I've never ventured. 
interesting. The path continues. Tempted to see what's at the end though. Just tempted. We're going to go right to the end and then record it a day. But I will venture a bit further next time. I promise I'll venture a bit further next time to this forest. But we are in the uh, so called uh, scariest part of the forest. I can imagine at night, I mean, worse. I can imagine doing this at night, that would be a nightmare. There's no uh, people about. There's no one about. Owner's risk this is. It tells you before you go into the forest, be vigilant. That's one of the, one of the words it says, be vigilant. And it's got wild boar. It tells you about the wild animals and that. Wild boar, you have to really look out for them. I've encountered a few, few times. The, lot, the deeper you go, do you see nice deer actually? I haven't seen any yet. I can hear a random plane above my head though. <laughs> Two civilizations still here. <laughs> this forest must love it, being untouched. Oh, there's a post at the top. I need to read what the post is. I can, it's like a checkpoint for next time. Do you know what? I could just carry on and on and on and on and on into this forest. This is a continued journey one day. <laughs> Imagine during the winter months, it'd be even worse. Most of them to bring my boots. I'm not wearing my boots today. And my running shoes. Oh. Okay. You know what you say, call it a day, call it a day, keep going further, kill day, call further. Anyway, this is the checkpoint for next time. And uh, when I do the video again, it will continue from here. Oh, there's a sign. There's a sign. What does it say? No horses, no bikes. So this will be my checkpoint for next time. Oh, he's telling you this way, no horses, no bikes. This will be my checkpoint for on the way back uh, next time. Continue. To be continued. On to next time. Let's have a venture in here for a minute. And come back. I didn't come back. Because it's supposed to be scary. It's dark in here. No. Have you seen the size of these trees? Whoa. seen a tree so big. Look how tall they are as well. Anyway, I'm going to check what this sign is. Oh, it's a yellow path. You can easily get lost in it. It's, it's, it's just a thing to do. It's actually got ma root, um, maps rooted out. Now this one's got yellow root. Okay, kind of chill. Gonna do one special video on its own. Keep the camera rolling. Tell me what you see. I'm getting very on edge here. Okay. <laughs>